the heck happened with uh, Ad Heidi Travels in Peru? You know, so to fill in those of our listeners who aren't aware of this particular piece of drama, Heidi Travels is a, a Steam, Steam user who's been doing quite well uh, with her payouts as she travels, uh, I don't know where, somewhere. <laughs> I keep seeing the dollar vigilante in her uh, posts. Yeah. And uh, Shettle uh, scheduled an interview with her in Peru with a TV crew, and then poof, she didn't appear. Is that, is that what happened, Shettle? Tell, fill us in. What, what exactly went down yeah. Heidi Travels? So uh, Heidi said that she was going to Peru, and uh, I, I noticed she was promoting her posts on the Rocket Chat in post moderation, uh, po- post promotion, the moderator channel on Steamit Chat. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just uh, asked her if uh, if we uh, if I could do an interview with her when she uh, arrived, and and she thought that was an amazing idea, and uh, and she. Even gave me the, the hostel that she would be staying and uh, blah, 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 blah. And, um, and so I knew uh, the times that she would be uh, arriving in. Uh, so I was just booking the, booking the equipment that I would be needing for, for when, you know, whenever it was uh, convenient for her. You know, for all I care, she could be standing in, you know, six hours in traffic and be delayed, you know. So I basically was just sitting here in my office uh, about four minutes away from her hostel. And uh, and I'm a busy guy. I have a lot of things to do. So I was just waiting for her to send me a rocket chat message saying that, yeah, I have arrived safe in Lima. And then take it from there. You know, it's on that screen there. I I have it. But she just went dark, right? She just went dark, and um, and she didn't uh, she didn't send any message, and and then I didn't hear anything uh, or care, or you know, for for a while until I saw that she had that that she went, you know, that she had been in Peru. She posted pictures. She made seven thousand dollars for have been in this country and 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 then left like just like that and and i was looking at dude we made a deal you know you are i asked you if i could interview you when you were here you said that was an amazing idea you're giving me the details of when you're coming and then you go dark right i mean steven here invited me to come on this uh, this show and i said yes i will be there and and uh, and then you know, I, then I keep my promise. You know, I came a little bit late, but I came in to your show. You know, I'm. Uh, hey. That's important. So, so when you invited her, you it was. Uh, have you released like the the transcript of the chat? Can anybody see that? Yes, it's on Rocket Chat in the post uh, promotion moderated. Actually, oh, okay. uh, father Sim the wit. Uh, it was father Sim. Yeah, F- Father Sim took a screenshot of it and uh, I sent it to me on, on Steam Speak and uh, posted it. On she, she called me outright a liar. Uh, yeah, I saw that. But so, did you did you like settle on a specific time or day, or how did you leave it with her? Was she supposed to contact you or or what? Yeah, well, uh, we, yeah, she was gonna contact me mm-hmm. uh, when, when she arrived to Peru. Because you know, you know, Peru is it's like we have ten times as many taxes in in Lima than there are in New York. So it's a huge city. So Crazy. between yeah. the airport and her hostel, and you know, I don't know what her schedule is, but apparently she has somebody that is going with her and is filming her and photographing her, whatever you know, and and uh, she apparently had this church thing that she's involved with so uh, you know her schedule might be super busy and mm. uh, and all i wanted to do was to make a good uh not for steamit.com but for peruvian television so so that uh, we could get a couple hundred thousand real users on on the steamit platform yeah you wanted uh, to do this to promote steamit and to promote her really i mean right well, uh, is that accurate? It would be a win-win situation for for uh, everybody because it you know it it would be a, a fa- like a famous uh, tourist coming to Peru, and uh, and this famous tourist we are interviewing this you know in this case being Heidi, 
about the Stemet platform and then we we'll segment to explaining the Stemet platform to Peruvians. I own Stemet Peru, the domain, and I have an introduction there to lead people and you can't upload the video or anything anymore, but you should be because I'm putting a lot of work into it. Um, so, so, yeah, I want to marketing per, uh, steam it. I want to marketing steam it to Peruvians. I want to marketing steam it to Norwegians. I'm not here to sit inside of steam it and circle jerk about how amazing steam it is to other steamians that also <laughs> think that it's an amazing platform. You say I want to go outside and get people in to steam it. You, what are you wasting your time on Facebook for? You're not even getting likes anymore. I mean, come on, move to Steam. You know, I want people to get on Steam it for that reason. Uh, but for some reason, she thought that I was just, uh, uh, you know, it was a good story, you know. I didn't mm -hmm. have to invent the story. It was a genuine story. And a genuine story makes a lot of real uh, users. Now I'm in a situation where I don't really have a story about Steam it and Peru unless I want to put my own face on the video and I'm not really Peruvian, mm. <laughs> you know? And Peruvians already know me around here because I'm, I'm famous. People know my face. They know who I am. They've seen me on TV. They, they know that I'm funny. Uh, they know that we are successful. So, so it's, for, for me to go on Peruvian television, that would be like bragging. I want to be the one bragging about Steam it and point the camera at somebody else and make a bragging video about Steam. I don't want to brag about me. Mm -hmm. I'm not that important. Steam it is revolutionary. I just want to talk about the revolution to as many people outside of Steam it as possible. And, yeah. and my media is mass media and television and and yeah, so I I, um, I got a bit angry with her because she, she didn't uh, keep her appointment and, and she didn't like that somebody could be angry with her about that. So she said something back and that she would be praying for me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, no, that's uh, it's the, it's the freaking backhanded... Uh... God! Please let Fish Ticket not be such a douchebag asshole. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I, Please pray uh, for his soul. Oh, jeez. Oh, I saw her, her post. I saw her post and she said, <laughs> and she says, uh, apparently there is a man. Apparently there is a man in Peru who's insanely jealous. I was interviewed with Dollar Vigilante. Like, you know, for, when you start off a post telling me what the motives of the other person are, that right there tells me, like, okay, you're not presenting facts to me. You're trying to appeal. You're trying to pass by the facts and appeal to my emotions, you know? And also by mentioning Dollar Vigilante, I feel like she's trying to appeal to all the, the fanboys of, of him. So that... Morning, um, Shettle, some of the comments you made to her, uh, some of the rude comments you made, do you, do you regret those? I, I type the way I talk. So I, I would probably have said the same thing with my voice. Um, I'm not sure if this is a children broadcast, but I mean, calling people a fucking cunt verbally <laughs> is not as hard as you might think it is. And I've heard Australians say it all the time, and I think it is a wonderful word. We should use the word cunt a lot more than we have in the past. There are so many cunts out there that are wasting our time, that are just interested in their own self-image, and, and those cunts should be spoken down, and, you know, I'm an honest guy, okay? Why should I be sorry for something that I really meant to say? I wasn't out of my mind. I really think that she is a con <laughs> for, for, for doing what she did. There, yeah. 
Yeah, and no. it's an asshole. That's okay. I can live with that. Hey, you know? you're, you were you were very much you're you're very open about it. You're right here on the show. You're not hiding behind anything. You don't. Uh, that's that's the obvious thing. So one of the things that uh, that segued into the topic is that. Uh, so I guess blah blah blah. Both people are both everybody. We'll, we'll I'm gonna try to say it was neutral, and there was a giant misunderstanding. We're gonna I'm I'm gonna just try sure, to say, sure. everybody everybody's innocent. Giant misunderstanding, and at the end of the day, you guys both make your own posts, and you both walk away with a cool thirteen hundred. You know that's well, except me because I already spent money on the equipment. You know, right. that's one I'm never gonna see again. Right. I, and I mean, I imagine you might have made some. Uh, you might have made some, not necessarily. Full you, you, have, you have to. You have to understand one thing that really happened. Okay, there was multiple things that happened. Okay, see, this was like a series of of dominoes falling here. I can't, so let, let's start with the first one. Okay. So I noticed that this brand new cryptocurrency user Stella Bell. The number one in reputation on Steemit started talking warmly about the scenario amp, even writing a post about how they had solved some of Steemit's problems. And I noticed on my charts, because I'm actually a trader, uh, that scenario amp was starting to go up. And I was like, is there any news? And I'm looking at Steemit and holy shit, is he's the one behind it? <laughs> right. I made a little money on that myself as well, so I'm not innocent. So, yeah, so, so I wrote a post, uh, basically not attacking anybody, but basically trying to hint that, hey, Stella, you might be a hero of many people that follow you here, but you are now giving, without knowing it, people are reading this as, yeah, I should buy Scenario Amp, because Stella Bell is popular on Steemit. I'm, yeah, I don't. I don't understand scenario. They. Um, I saw a post that they put on Facebook yesterday where they showed some guy at a conference and he was saying scenario is P two P everything. And he showed Uber and he showed Airbnb and I was just like, well, that doesn't make any sense, you know. So I still haven't understood exactly. And this whole thing where you have to buy. Uh, yeah, but but, but and, that's a, that, that's a different topic. I mean, the the point is that. Somebody that is brand new in everything, but looked up to by everybody. Uh, when they are giving advice like that, a lot of you know, I ha I happen to have a few people that I'm now having to take care of because they bought Scenario Amp at the top, and then they released some news that they were going to uh, raise some more money at this price. You know, so they kind of got a thirty percent haircut from their investment already. So they, they have lost money on Stella Bell's uh, post. They were upfront about that in, on, on public radio. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that uh, Leah Stella Bell is really qualified. Um, I don't see what her qualifications are to really talk about one platform over another. It seemed that her, uh, you know, pushing of scenario was about how it was going to protect her better from all these people who are stalking her. Uh, that seemed to be the nutshell of it for her. Uh, I I think that she was being a little smarter than, or she was being a little more, uh, what's the word, sneaky in what she was doing. She's not, uh, what was she? She's an INTP. If she's an INTP, she's immediately going to fall into a, a certain classification of intellect which is going to say that they're probably going to think things through and she probably knew more about the repercussions of her words than she she she's trying to pass off like she was innocent about it but you know what i've seen the fucking charts a thousand times a classic pump and dump looks the same on every chart and there's no, there was an absolute correlation between the rise in, uh, rise in scenario and that post that let me know. Oh my God! If if she didn't come up with the idea, somebody gave her the idea to leverage her words so that they can pump scenario. And I'm thinking oh, that yeah. there's, you know, if 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 she was innocent, okay. 
but she was being guided by somebody who knew how to make money. And she was very, she was totally on board of making shit tons of money and stealing. That's what a pump and dump is. It's stealing from a shit ton of people um, just because you're able to leverage a a, a solid amount of money. She is not innocent. Come on. I, I looked through her posts. You know, I, I finally took two hours of my time to actually read what the woman is has been writing. Uh, and I stopped at two of her earliest posts. You know, the most honest ones. Number one being, I used to be a car salesman and I oops, accidentally ripped off a friend once. All right, so you used to be a car salesman and you used to rip off your friend. What else we got? <laughs> So I, but I find it interesting. I find it interesting. Then, 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 I find sec, then I find a second post from the early days. When I was rich, she writes in the headline, I used to go shoplifting. Oh, so you are a thief too. All right. You rip off your friend. You sell your car. You are a thief. And you are the one giving us advice. And you have the highest reputation on Steam. It was a wonderful platform this is. And for me being uh, going out, you know, even speaking up against her, Tuck Feeman, that is uh, right below Stella, started flagging my posts. And I was like, what the hell is this kind of co- uh, uh, power? You know, these people at the top is now trying to take me down. So I had to fight the power. Sorry, Tuck, nothing personal. But when you, you used all that power against me, there was no way I could let you in. <laughs> Okay, but Shadow, when you talk about, when you say, when you criticize uh, Stella Bell and Tuck for Man, that's just the real world equivalent of flagging things that you disagree with. I mean, you're, you're talking them down, so you're trying to affect, uh, which, you know, I'm, you have uh, your case for it. I'm not criticizing it necessarily. But you're, you, what you're doing is you're affecting their real world reputation or trying to in the same way that a flag on the platform for any reason attempts to modify the in-system reputation. So I don't, I feel like you've got a, you've got a little bit of a contradiction going on saying it's not okay to try and pull down people that you, that are doing well via the flag, but people that are doing well uh, in terms of uh, reputation that you feel need to be called out that that is cool. Uh, you know, because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just happening in two different uh, systems. Look, I've done mistakes in the past uh, calling out stocks that went to the ground. And guess what? I had to pay the price for that. You know, I have been new once. And I've done (laughs) all the mistakes that new people do once. And... You know, it is just in her own best interest that she wait a couple of years and learn before she go out and and start writing about financial uh, advice because uh, she's new and she's doing mistakes. And I never meant to attack her in any way. But when when I'm getting attacked by like a botnet of flaggers and fans or whatnot... uh, by the, you know, not by regular users, but, but by people that have, you know, real power. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm like, uh, all right. I, I it makes, deal with that. It's a it, different situation. It makes you kind of a little, uh, I guess it, it would make you kind of a little, um, ed- not edgy. It would make you a little, uh, oh, what's the word? I guess you're, you have to hold yourself back from calling out those above you in some capacity. And in, in that regard, you, should, um, you know, if somebody, this, this system, this whole system is based on integrity. It's something I keep bringing up um, throughout the episodes. And if you don't have integrity on this system, um, the system's going to hurt you. But when you have an, ins- I, I'm not saying that the people ab- at the top don't have integrity, but it does seem that they can uh, lose integrity without the system really punishing them until uh, somewhere along the line, they, they do have to the, the formula does calculate or does take away from that power. Um, 
you know, I, I, it's integrity is a big one on this uh, platform uh, to me. If a lot of people aren't, oh, go on, George. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I was going to say, I really appreciate Shadow for his uh, plain spokenness. There needs to be more of that. There needs to be less roundabout bullshitting. There needs to be more directness. But at the same time, I think, you know, I think, Shadow, you're, you're exceeding the mark a little bit, you know, by uh, like calling people uh, cunts. You know? <laughs> I think you're exceeding a little. Look, like, it's a bit ironic. It's a bit ironic, actually, to talk about etiquette, you know, at the same time with the same person who's saying you're a cunt, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I'm a plain spoken guy, too. I'm okay with people calling me a cunt. I have no problem with that. But do you uh, want to be a part of a community where everybody's calling each other cunts? Because you said you there you have some problems with the Steam community. Look at Australia. Like, oh. Everybody calls each other cunts all the time in Australia, and it's the happiest people in the world. What's wrong with the word cunt? <laughs> what is wrong? What is wrong is people are so thin-skinned that they can't uh, take it. You know, I mean, well, you, well, you're an ENTJ, right? So what? Yeah, well, see, you guys are very, I'm an INTJ, so we're kind of like cousins in that sense. I'm pretty blunt, but you're even more blunt. <laughs> Call not everybody like can handle that, you see? Not everybody know, can handle it. No, but they have so, to. I mean, it's no, not they don't fun. have to. They don't have to. That's you forcing your preference on them. I mean, you know, you, you can say whatever uh, you want, keep, and also other people on. have the right to downvote you and to flag you and whatnot. Just that's just how the system works. You know? I mean, just keep the appointment. Don't waste people's time and nobody will be angry with you at all. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you there. I think, you know, I'd, I'd like to, you know, get a chance to talk to Heidi as well. But uh, just from the fact that she opened her post how, how, by saying... How, how, is, it, how is it that we live in a society that, the, that thinks that they should be rewarded all the time, even when they do bad stuff? Entitlement! is. Uh, Deep-seated, my friend. Entitlement is a deep-seated, like, problem of our society. But it's the uh, drama that they're rewarding you both for, because you both got rewarded for that. And it's the drama. It's Yellow Journal. All right. Well, no. well I, I, I have been done with the subject since I posted the post, so I haven't participated in the drama. I, I'm done with right. it. Like, I, no, I, I, I know with it now, but you did participate in it. And yeah. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just saying yeah, well, you, you, say pe you say people shouldn't get paid for, you know, for screwing, for uh, breaking uh, deals. I, I couldn't agree more. But in this case, what the Steam and System did was reward you both for having a bit of uh, drama. You know? Well, what the Steam and System did was uh, they were rewarding the content that was created for them that they got to read something that were interesting to them. Exactly. It was interesting because of the drama. Interesting to, to them. And uh, then, uh, the, yeah, so, so we had some good old-fashioned drama out there. I mean, <laughs> so what? That's what we do in, in the show business. We create yeah. drama. We create situations. Exactly. And everybody exactly. wins. Exactly, yep. exactly, exactly. All right, so let's jump to our fourth topic, which is uh, who is for sticking? Yeah, who is uh, Shettle Eilertson? <laughs>